Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today, we're going to play Pixie, Pixie Queen. Queen. Cool. All right, so Pixie Queen is a worker placement game mm -hmm. uh, for two to five players. It plays in about an hour or two. Right. It takes us about an hour. Um, designed by Rudy Suchens and published by Game Brewer. All right, so let's get this to the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Mm -hmm. Here we have a Pixie Queen set up for two players. Yes. Yes. All right, so what is what is Pixie Queen? Pixie Queen is um, sort of a resource stealing, <laughs> uh, Pixie placing game where we're trying to that fight. That's very creative of you. It was indeed. <laughs> we're trying to fight for uh, the queen's favor, right? So we're a bunch of little pixies living in this pixie town. And, uh, you know, sitting above us in this giant castle at the top of the board is the Pixie Queen. And our goal is to not earn the most points, per se, but to earn the least amount of whips in this game. And this is the whip right. track. And whips are bad. So whenever you don't quite achieve what the queen wants you to do or you're not working to her standards, she rewards you with whips. Okay. So many that if you go to 60 whips, you end up in this deep, dark, green dungeon forever. And yeah. your game's over, you lose. So, so that doesn't happen. No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so what do we do? We start, um, and each of us starts in our own mind. So we have our, our different minds where you have five pixie workers. Oh, mine are actually in the wrong place. Oh, they're in the wrong mind. <laughs> so we each have five pixies there is a gray uh pixie player that is only for the two player setup because they're going to come out and start to clog up the board a bit uh, the board looks very busy because there are actions aplenty here and there's tracks everywhere that you have to keep keep uh, track of mm -hmm. so let's go through what everything is on this board and then we'll jump right into the playthrough right so on your turn you can take any one of these actions. So the first thing you're doing is what you would normally consider to be your resource generation, which is called the stealing phase, and you are going to steal um, food, really, from different spots on the board. We'll show you how that works in a bit. And then you jump into your action phase, where we each have four of these uh, action markers or action cylinders. Action cylinders, so yes. Right, cylinders. they're like token things. So we are going to be placing them on the board, and we have... Um, Four of them, like I said, but each action, for the most part, is going to take two of them to do. At so least you, for now. Yeah. For now. And you, so you only really get uh, two, theoretically, two major actions, or you can take some of these sort of minor actions that only cost one of your action tokens, right? So what does that mean? They're going around the board really quick. I'll just jump in and talk about what these different moves do. Uh, taking this action lets you steal food. And the food in this game uh, it comes in a form of apples, bread, and honey. And each have sort of different purposes but um, and uses, but at the end of the day, they're all things that the queen will want. And at the end of every round, the queen's going to tell us what she wants, and we've got to decide whether or not we're going to give it to her. Right. Along with some silver and gold, which she always takes. Uh, it's like this action space will let you take two silver. Um, this action space lets you promote one of your pixies. So the, uh, throughout the game, these pixies are going to come up, and they're going to go up uh, each of these levels. And you're going to keep promoting them until eventually they get into the queen's uh, loyal servant space. And then they're going to go off to the top of the board and earn you one of those tiles that will get you victory points at the end of the game. Uh, over here, you get to uh, trade one resource type for another resource type. Over here, you can turn silver into gold because you're mm -hmm. going to mine silver or gold, depending, because we have a mining bag and you're going to be drawing, blind drawing that for the most part out of the bag. Um, we're going to have, um, there's these one-time action tiles that you can get by taking those actions and they go onto your player sheet. And at any point, you can earn, you can actually use that one-time action. Uh, we've got um, penalty points, which are the whips you can take here. This is the, the, the one absolute take that action in this game <laughs> yeah. where you go here you roll a die it'll have one two or three whips on it and you basically just choose another player to give whips to we'll probably not be using that yeah. at all this game so or anytime we ever play this game <laughs> it's just enough. it's just way to take that i think and i don't i'm not really a big fan of like punishing somebody yeah. i'd rather just outplay them but it's there but it's there in case you want that so it's good it's your choice doesn't mean you have to do it uh over here is the gold and silver track so you've got a gold and silver track and going up those tracks um, sort of makes the queen happy, so you earn less 
whips at mm -hmm. the end of every round. But it also, in the silver track, for example, it actually decreases the, com the conversion requirement for silver into gold. The top track for gold reduces the cost of how many gold bars it takes to create the one ring. Mm -hmm. So by, earn by creating rings, you're going to earn more of those tiles up top to get victory points. So it's just another way to score. Uh, over here you have the uh, casino, which is here, where we have a casino die, and it's just roll the die and get the resources. So That's it's kind of time. kind of a gamble, but it's fun. Uh, what did we get? We got the there's a ring action where you can turn your gold into a ring. You have another take that action, which is rob another pixie, mm -hmm. which again we're probably not going to do. We're going to skip all the take that's unfortunately. So <laughs> well, that's just how it goes. That's just how it works. That's just how it works. Um, we're going to have on your own player, uh, mine, you can put a, a one action token here and then mine. And you'll get to draw as many cubes as you have pixies in the mine from mm -hmm. the mining bag. And the mining bag is, is filled with gold and silver and stones. And stones are used to chain the other player's pixies up into the mines that they actually have to pay uh, one bread to get rid of. Right. So that's, that's a use for bread. And um, another one is to trade tiles. You can dump resources. Another one, because at the end of the game, you, if you have resources, you're actually penalized it because you haven't given them to the queen. She doesn't like that. Up, up in the upper left, you're going to have the special offering where you offer every one of those goods plus one of any type, and you'll get to earn one of those offer uh, special offer tiles. Again, more victory points. Um, over here, you have where you can either alter the current round player order or the future round player order and that makes a difference because the current round player order determines the promotion of pixie order at the end of the the uh, offering and reward phase and you'll see how all that works. And you'll see all that works so those are all the actions we're going to take so we're going to take you know as many as we can with all of our action mm -hmm. uh, tokens and then we're going to jump into the next phase which is the offering phase queen's going to turn up one of these tiles it's going to be bread or apples or honey mm -hmm. and then we have to decide we each in a two-player game we're each going to get to make two blind offers so we're not going to show the other player what we're offering that's why all of our stuff's behind the screen and we're going to be rewarded depending on what we give the queen and we'll explain how that works during the offering phase and if we if any one of us meets the queen's requirement by giving her what she wants then we all get rewarded as long as we all do that if we don't then we don't get rewarded yeah. so at least you hope that somebody in one of their offers is giving her what she wants and then finally, we have the penalty phase where everybody is going to earn whips for everything you've done wrong. <laughs> yeah. Just having pixies in the mine is going to earn you whips. Right. Where you are on the, the two tracks for silver and gold is going to earn you whips. So you're going to get them every round, but there's ways to mitigate. And you will try to do that as best you can as the game goes on. Right. So that's it. We're going to play for seven rounds. Or fast. Until we, if we were to take every one of the um, first five um, bonus tiles from each of the offers, and they're colored in gold numbers instead of silver. So once those all go, the game's over. We're most likely going to finish the seven, I think. But yeah, it's a very fast moving game. So what we'll do is we'll do our starting draft because we're each going to get to pull one of these permanent tiles mm -hmm. um, from the top of the board. I believe I pick you first do, because I'm the second player. player. So many oh yes! Uh, wow. What I think I'll do is I'll take the silver. Okay. You so love that, yeah, I like this one. It what this is gonna do at the during the stealing phase, I'm gonna earn a silver bar, mm -hmm. automatic on top of anything else I would normally earn. Yeah. And I think I will. Hmm. I think I might take this bread for stones. So what this does is um, if I get chained up by stones, then I can just take them off. I Without don't have to pay bread paying bread, it, so. which is good. And you like to draw stones. So. I try not to, but it happens. I know. It's unavoidable. But. All right. So there are actions that we can take that will allow us to swap these tiles out at a later time. Mm -hmm. because they're, you're pretty much stuck with it until you swap it out. And you can swap it with another player, or you can swap it with the board. It's up to you. If you like theirs better, it, and, right. and they're really kind of situational. It depends on what you need at that yeah. point. So you're not stuck with it. Uh, if you were to take these, they go onto your one-time board, and you can use them at any point. But once you use it, it goes back to the board. This little section here on your player mat is for these, and these are going to actually earn you uh, the number of depicted food on the front during the stealing phase. We each don't. We each start with none of them, so they're they're kind of good to get later when you want to earn some food before you promote pixies. Again, right. we'll go through all that as we start playing. Let's jump into the game. Your player one, 
the stealing phase is just going to happen for me because I'm the only one who's going to earn anything. Yeah. And that would be one silver. So I'll go into my supply. And then you start us off with the actions. All right. All right. So I'm going to come out of the gate and go here. Wow. Going right uh, for the silver. Two silver. All right. I will go. I'll go here. Um, no. I think I'm going to take the food tile. Okay. I'll go here and I'll take this food tile and that's going to generate me two food of my choice during the steel phase. So that goes right here. Okay. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to mine. Mm -hmm. So, so you actually get to mine there. five yep. or six. <laughs> <laughs> or no, just five. Just five. Just five. One, two, three, four. Oh, stones. That's, five. Wow, that's a good draw. Right, yeah. Um, and these are, you do reveal to all the players what you draw. So that is yours. So and now you your want. two bottom pixies are the ones that are chained to, or potentially chained to three stones each. So mm -hmm. they will be locked. So this guy's locked. I can't promote him out of here until I right. get rid of that stone. That's going to cost me some bread. Yep. All right. So that was your second action? Yep. Your turn. I'm going to go. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> Eek. All right, so I'll go. You know what? I'm gonna go here. In mine as well. Okay. It's tough. Mm-hmm. Oh. Talk about a wow. mine. Sounds like jackpot. Yep, two gold and because there's not a lot of gold in the bag. I know. All right, your turn. Okay, and I only have one action. So, this might go without saying, but we can't like go here with like one token. It takes only. two. It takes, yeah, if there's two slots, two. you have to do two. Baby. All right, so I'm actually gonna go here. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna copy. I can copy that. Yes. Um, but but it's gonna, gonna cost you. It's, yeah, it's gonna earn me a whip actually. A whip. Yep. So. so the first player to go there takes a whip. Yep. So you get Second a Second player yeah. takes two bits. Second player to go there. Okay, so yep. So I will take this one. There you go. And I'm going to do the exchange tile mm -hmm. ah. and swap this. <laughs> you bugger. For this. So you can't discard a tile, but you can exchange them. Yeah, I figured you would. All right. So that is it for the action phase. And now we go into the offering. So we can go ahead and pull our okay. things back yeah. because we're going to... We're gonna need to move some stuff around. All right, so let's see what the queen wants. Ooh, honey. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the queen wants honey, and here's how this works. We're each gonna give two offerings, and your each offering can only contain one item type. As many as you want of that one item. The only food you can give her is honey right now. That's all she wants, but she'll take as much gold and silver as you want. Now, for every jar of honey you give her, you're going to be able to promote that many times. One pixie or multiple pixies, right? So if you give her two jars of honey, you could promote one pixie twice, two levels, or you could promote two pixies, one level each. For silver and gold, we're each going to offer silver and gold as many as we want. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. You can. You don't have to. For every person who offers silver and gold, you're going to go up one notch on the silver and gold track. The player with the most silver and gold offered goes up one extra space on that specific track. Right. If we're tied, we should only go up one. No one goes up the extra. Yeah. So you kind of want to gamble here with yeah. what you're dropping because you don't know which track you're going for. Yeah. All right. And we'll it, it. it can be tough. Okay. So we're going to do two offers. Now, if nobody offers offers a queen honey this round, then we don't get any We rewards. don't get any of the rewards. Yeah. which is terrible. So you're going to hope Maybe. that somebody at least is offering honey. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's going to be me. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to hold them out, mm -hmm. and we're going to offer to each. Oh, you're so lucky I gave honey. I have no honey. Oh, yes. You're the, you started the game with honey. I didn't, I didn't. even think about that. <laughs> so. I should have should have kept that in mind. Yeah. All right, so... you got to pay attention. I gave honey, yep. so I'm actually going to get to promote... So this goes to the queen, so that's yep. going to go away. So she's been offered. She's happy. She got her honey. I get to move 
a pixie or two out of the mine. So I'm going to take one pixie, move it up twice. Now I could put it on any one of these spots where the hand is. Mm -hmm. And that's actually going to make this action cost Cheaper. one less. For everyone. For everybody. For everybody. I'm actually going to bring out two pixies on level one. Okay. All Good right. choice. Good choice. And now you won silver. Yep. So you get to move up two. two spaces on the silver track. We tied for gold, so we each go up one. All right? Yep. And that's it. And this all goes to the queen. All to the queen. And now we go to penalties. So each player gets up to a maximum of two penalty points for um, mm -hmm. pixies in the mine. So if you have at least two pixies in the mine, you're going to get two penalty points for that. Right. All right? So we're each going to go up two. So one, two, one, two. Now we're going to go up penalty points for the uh, Whips, track. Yeah. So on the silver and gold tracks, right? All right. So I'm going to get five. You're going to get six. All right. So you go up one, two, three, four, five. And we're four, just looking five, at the whips two, next three, to four, five, six. the two columns that we're in. Right. So. so we are both at eight. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yeah. It's very simple. <laughs> very simple. That was the whole first round. It'll only be seven rounds. Okay. All right, so, but at the end of the reward phase, one of these guys has to come out. Your player won, so you have to actually place him. Okay, I think. Hmm. Now, the book says you just have to promote one of the gray pixies. Right. So, either so that's take him out or move him up. Yeah. So, it really depends. And he gets promoted like once. I'll put him here. All right. Okay. Now, if, there's, if all of these spaces were full, for example, and you couldn't get another pixie out of your mind, you can go and uh, for say, say this is the only space, if I was out all these other spots and this is the only one available that wasn't me, I could take my pixie, put him here, replace him, but it would cost me an apple to demote him back to the mines right. or back a track. Mm -hmm. So that's what apples are for. Okay. Otherwise, I think that's it. So yep. that's round one. Let's jump into round two. You start, you're still player one. Okay. All right, so we start with stealing. Yes. So let's look at what we have on the board. So we're going to get, we're going to steal for whatever tiles we have. And we're also going to get what you have in the pictures depicted abo above your pixies that are out and yep. promoted on the board. So you're going to get a honey and a bread off the bat. Which right. is nice. Honey and a bread. Bread and honey. And I also get a silver for my yep. silver. And then I get um, like? four, four food of my choice. So I'm going to take two honey, one silver, I mean, two honey, one bread, and one apple. Okay. There you go. And that should be it. And I could take three, so I'll take, yeah, I'll take like a honey, and a bread, and an apple. Make it easy. They kind of like pumpkins, actually. They do <laughs> actually look like pumpkins. Uh, they're right. very orange. All right, so that's it for the uh, stealing phase. And now we go to action. So go ahead and take your actions. Okay. Now remember, these are only going to cost one of yeah. our action tokens. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Man. It's tough in the beginning. Once the game gets going and we kind of have pixies out, it's a lot easier. Yeah, it <laughs> we is. We get a lot more opportunities. I guess I'll go here and use this guy that I put out. So I'll get two silver. All right. Um, I'm going to go here. And okay. I'm going to pay one silver to go up one notch on the silver track. Okay. Hmm. I would have liked to, to go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and mine again. All right. So you still pull full from uh 5 yep. from the bag. Hmm. You and these All stones. This yeah. There you go. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm going to go here for one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to promote oh, this guy I to do that. up here. 
think I would have liked to do that. Okay. No. <laughs> you could copy, but I don't want any more whips. Feel free. Nah, I don't think so. Interesting. Okay. This really kind of sucks. You took like the two things that I want to do. I sure <laughs> did. Um, what am I at? There. Hmm. <laughs> Darn it. All right. I think I'm going to go. Ugh. It stinks kind of having to take two like this, but I'm going to go here. And I'm going to swap out this bread for stones for a promotion. I need to catch up. Okay. I hope my pixies are stuck. They're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's because you didn't give any honey last time. I didn't have any. I know. Can't give what I don't I have. I know. <laughs> All right. Oh, what do I want to do? So many choices. I think I'll just mine. Okay. Good call. Just three cubes. That's mm, good. Nice. That works for me. And and your final action. And for my final action, I need to go to something with one space. You could be a copycat. I know. Why do I want me to get whipped so bad? Why not? There's a lot of things you could do good with that copy move, though. Yeah. That I would definitely consider. I know. What's one whip? Yeah, I think I actually... I actually might do that, so I'll go here and copy. All right. And what do I want to copy? I think... I may... I might promote my pixie. I'll copy this action here. Okay. And. Now keep in mind, oh, folks. Oh, actually. What? No, I'm not. I don't think You're not going to do that one? You're going to keep in mind what? No, this allows you to promote one, but yeah. every space except for you can't promote it into yeah, the queen's uh, into loyal servant. Into their favor. Um, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to copy this action. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Um, oh. You just awesome. put her right back in that line. right back into the lines. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to pay a gold Yep. and move up one because it cost me a whip to do that, but I was going to, this is the difference between two whips and three whips if I stay there. So, so that was good. That's, that's, good that's what I would Guaranteed done. kind of wash. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's time for offer. All right. What does the queen what want this want? round? She's so needy. She wants apples. Oh dear. Okay. okay. So let's, <sighs> let's offer. You know what you okay. want to give? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Oh, this is where it gets dicey. Dicey. <laughs> All right. So she wants apples. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Ready? Yep. Go. Oh, oh, three and three. We're tied. Stop. Really? All right. So we're only gonna go up. Well, let's do the apples first. So okay. you're player one. You get to promote first. Okay. I get to promote my pixie first, right? Yep. So you're, it goes by where the big cube is. That's okay. Good. So that's three promotes. That's good. That's, that's very, very good. good um, okay, cool. So I'm going to do... I'm actually going to promote this pixie three times. Okay. So level one, level two, level three. And I'm going to put... Her. Actually, these can come off, so you can put yeah, you can put off. her it's anywhere. Yeah. So you got to remember to take these off because I'm gonna put her here. Okay. All right, so that's your three. Yep. So now I'm gonna promote my three. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. Nice. To the queen's loyal servant. All right. Okay. So we have silver goes to the queen we each go up one on the silver track yeah, I think unfortunately but she got a lot of what she wanted 
She and, did. She made out pretty good that time. <laughs> so since I've gotten my, my pixie up to the loyal servant, I lose this pixie for the rest of the game. She's going to go up to the 10 spot and stay there, and I'm going to earn this 10 victory point Very good. tile mm -hmm. for the end of the game. Nice. But now I'm short of pixie. Yes. So, all right. That was rewards. You have one extra promotion now. Yep. And I will go... Mm. I'll head out like over here and I have to promote one of these guys too, right? Yes. So. That or bring him up. It's up to you. Yeah. You yeah, know. <laughs> okay. There. there you go. Okay. All right. So now we get our punishment. Okay. So we're each going to get two for the mine. Yep. One, two, one, two, and I, what do you, what do you get? I get four. One, two, three, four. All right, so you've hit this little guy yeah. here. That means you must demote mm -hmm. one of your pixies. Right back to the mines with him. <laughs> and how many do and I have? And you have five. One, two, three, four, five. I get the same, so he's going to come back. Bang. Okay. All right, so we are ready. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Kay. So let's steal real quick. Okay, so you get your silver. Get my silver. I and get, I don't have anything have on anything. the board. So. Oh, okay. But you get your other resources, so what do you want this time? Uh, I'll take, what do I get, four? Yep. I'll take three apples and a bread. Okay. Thank and you. And I will take, well, I get an apple, a honey, and a bread. This is really simulating the pixies going out to the local village yes, really. and stealing what <laughs> stealing they can. Stealing so many apples. And then I get three of anything. I guess I'll take probably two apples and a bread. Okay. All right. So that was steel phase. Mm -hmm. Now we go back to your actions. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go first here. And I'm going to pay another gold. So I've got one here. All right. know what I want to do here I think I think I'm gonna copy you okay. and take the whip and pay a gold no I'm gonna pay a silver to go up to silver track one okay. there you go okay and Here. And you're going to convert. And I'm going to convert. Going to conversion. Oops. Keep, so what's your oh, conversion right, rate right now? So my conversion rate is at two bars to one gold. Right. So two silver to one gold. So I will convert four silver into two gold. Okay. Very good. What I'm going to do then is go here. Mm -hmm. And forge the one ring. Oh, stop, really? In the fires of Mount Doom. Whatever. You knew I wanted to do Three that. gold. Yeah. And I get. Whatever. The one ring. To rule them all. The that pit of doom. Rained on my party a little bit. Oh. Sorry. Um, that's okay. I will simply Oof. Oof. Is yeah. Right. yeah, this This dies okay. This stuff's not great. Yeah. Um, all right, on my last action I'm just gonna mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Probably should have done that first. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I was excited, but I was the only pixie in this cavern. You are the only pixie. All right, I'm going to do the same. Oh, what's with you in the stones, man? Well, I don't know. My hand was angry. It is angry. <laughs> uh, angry mining. <laughs> it's like. Crap. There you go. Finally got you a stone. All right, thanks. 
Okay, so we are done with our actions. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see what she wants for the third round. Honey. Honey. Kay. Ooh, okay. So let's pull our things back. And get ready to offer. Hmm, this is a tough one. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. It's very tough. <laughs> what? I d really? Yeah, Are this is. That? No, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know what you're going to give here, so. All right, ready? Yep. Go. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I just didn't have enough, but I need to go. Up I that know track. because you just had to get that ring. Yep. That's fine though, because I'm gonna go. Well, two. first let's do the food. Okay. So you promote your. Tracks. Well, she wants her honey first. All right. So you get up two promotions. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do this one too. All right. So leave her there. She stays there until the end okay. of this. So that because oh, no other pixie yeah, can exactly. go there. No, but nobody else can be promoted. Uh, so this your two, and I'm gonna bring out three. So I'll go, one. Two, three. Okay. All right, all right. And then this is all her honey. Okay. Now you get to go up two on the gold track, and I go up one. Wow, you're really cruising up that track. I know. So now my conversion rate is only one. Okay, so you get to promote one more pixie now. Yep. And then you get to move this guy yeah. or promote any one of his. And right. Then, and then you can take your reward. We'll do it that way. Yeah. Um... Let's do, let's do this. So we'll promote him one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll promote mine um, up to here. Okay. So you can go ahead and score your, your loyal servant. Okay. Second loyal servant. Second loyal servant. Second best. To the queen. That goes behind your screen. Oh, yeah, because you're not supposed to know how many, all these points. All these secret getting. points that you're stashing. <laughs> and then um, now we take our punishments. So we're each, again, going to get two for the mines. Yep. And how many do you get? Uh, three. Wow. One, two, three. And I, I get, get four. So. One, two, three, four. And still, it's... <laughs> yeah. We're moving along this track. It's no oh, good. No. All right. So let's, uh, let's steal. Okay. So go ahead and... Uh, what do we get? So I'm going to get a honey. You are going to get a honey. What is that on the other side of you? That's uh, honey and bread and bread. So I get honey and two bread. Okay. And then what would you like for your resources? I will take... Um, how many do I get? Four? You get four. Well, I'm going to get silver okay. for one. But I'm going to take three honey and an apple. Please. <laughs> Thank you. you. And I will take um, two honey and and uh, bread. All right. Okay. So we've stolen. Yes. Let's do our actions. Okay. 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 All right. <clears throat> Best action. Um. All right, for my first action, I'm going to go here. So, wait a minute. That just takes that tile, right? That's correct. And that tile lets you look in the bag and choose two... Uh, of anything you want. Two, of cu two cubes you want during the mining action. You could use that once. Right, and so that would be like I'm picking three, but I get to actually pick two of something. Right, and then blind draw one. Oh, that's, I don't think I want to do that, actually. Um, I'll go mining first. Okay. So. So you're gonna mine three yep. stones. All right. Three okay. silver. That's yep. good. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna convert silver to gold. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna convert six silver mm -hmm. into three gold. Oh, you're such a little twit. Why? Because I know what you're trying to do. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just take myself for her. <laughs> You're so caught up in what I'm trying to do. I know. <laughs> You're such a bum. You don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. I know exactly what you're you doing. You have no idea. All you're trying to do is block what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you didn't have your own strategy. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think a move that you're thinking about, it, it's immediately a block move. Mark my words. Okay. <laughs> it has been It has been said. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, don't wanna do this. I'm gonna go out here and promote a pixie. All right, good move. Thank you. Yeah. Vote of approval. <laughs> What's good? Because I'm short on silver, so you made that move a lot cheaper for me. <laughs> Take your. I move. shouldn't do that. No, go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. I'm I know sure. you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, because you think you know what I'm gonna do. Uh huh. Uh, but I'm not. I'm actually not gonna do that. Really? I'm not gonna do what you think I'm gonna do. I'm going to copy. How about that? Mm -hmm. Did you think I was going to do that? It cost no. Me a, cost me a whip, but I'm going to promote this guy up one. Hmm, I see. Oh, that, that works out well, actually. It does. Yes. Hmm. And what say you? All right. So I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'll pay a silver to go up one. You're really pushing that silver track. Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, really. I'm going to... Go make your rings. I don't, it's too, ex <laughs> honestly, it's too expensive for me to make right now. I know. So for me to do that would be not so smart. Well, you would get the next ring though. I would. It's worth nine points, right? Mm hmm Which isn't bad. But it's a lot of gold, like I said. Mm hmm So I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. There's a lot of other good actions I could take here. Mm-hmm. So I think... I will take the two silver, like I said I would do before. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yep. And you get the final, your final action, right? Mm, okay. <coughs> Where are we on this whip thing? One, two. Ooh. <laughs> what are you trying to do there? I don't know. <laughs> Just bump my token up a little bit. Maybe. Um, Huh. Whoops. All right. I'm actually. I'm going to take. There's so many things I want to do. I'm going to copy. Mm hmm. For one whip. Two whips, two actually. Whips. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, four. It's like so dangerous. Like, mm hmm. It's, it's horrible. And I'm gonna. I'm trying to think of what I want to. Which one I want to copy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna copy this action again. Okay. So um, I'm gonna pay another silver to bump myself up again. One. Okay. And I'm gonna go and do my um, special offering. This one. Yep. So what you basically have to do is pay one of each resource up there, mm -hmm. and that would be these guys, 
plus one of any type. And so that gets I'm gonna put that bread. Added, right? Yep. So now the next person who takes this tile or gives a special offer all those things plus. plus the bread and then leave something else. Right. So it's gonna get very yeah. expensive. But, but you get more points. You get more points. Alright, so that's it. Let's pull our action action markers back. Oh, I can't reach that one. What? I oh. can't reach that one. That's But it would be so funny to see. It would be. All right, so. All right, you ready? Yeah, what does she want? She's so needy. Bread, finally. Oh, I just gave all my bread away. <laughs> you did. Uh, okay. All right. I'm down with this. Hmm. I think I can handle this. All right. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You're not sure, huh? No, I'm sure. I'm super sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Such a gamble. It really Gambles is. Gambles make me sweat. You ready? Yeah. Set. Ready? Go. Ooh, you got lucky that I did that. I knew you were going to. Because you knew I had bread. Yes. Yeah, I've been like sitting on bread. All right, so we do bread first? Yeah. Okay, so um, I get four promotions, right? Wow, yeah, that's a lot of promotions. One, two, three, four. Wow, right to the top. Yep. All right, that's simple enough. So now you go up two on the silver track, I go up one. And you go and up I, one, two on the gold. I go two on the gold track, yeah. Okay. There nice. you go. Well done. All right, so you get an extra promotion, and you have to promote this guy. Okay. Um, maybe I'll just like bring this guy out here. Okay. That's kind of good. And then this guy can come out, or actually, I'll leave this guy here. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to promote this guy up one. Like, I don't know. Here, I guess. Okay. And I'll bring this guy out there. Okay. okay. So now you can collect your... My thing. Your right. favor. Okay. And... And now we get punishments. So right, we each yeah. get two, mm -hmm. and you actually earn mm -hmm. one point. point for being at the top of the chain every time now, mm -hmm. but you're going to take one more yep. whip, and I'm going to take two. All right. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby, and I no. get one extra promotion, right? You did your extra promotion. Oh, I did? <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at you. We're done with, we're done with that <laughs> phase. We're done with that. Just keep trying to cheat. All right. So... <laughs> That's it. We are now okay. to the next round. So let me get my resources. Okay. I'm like broke here. Yeah. Are you just saying that? Maybe. Um, what do you have on the board here? So you have an apple honey bread. Yeah, that's good. That's a good spot. And another bread. So two bread apple honey. and an apple. All right. So go. you go ahead and take your board stuff and then I'll and then we'll decide, decide what, what I want. want. Yeah. Apple. No. Honey. And I get three resources. I think I'll take like bread and an apple. I'll take um, one honey, one apple, and two bread, please. Okay. All right. All set. All set. So we are now ready to start the next action phase. Okay, I uh, will go here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to trade in four silver. Wait, I'm on a one-to-one, -one, right? Yep. Mm, yeah, we'll do four silver for four Four gold. gold. Yep. All right, I will go here and give you a gold 
to go up the gold track one. Okay. I will go here. Mm-hmm. Um, and make some rings. Make a ring. Make so ring. Make ring. So <laughs> one gold. For one, one ring. ring. That's pretty cheap. Okay, so where does that leave me? I'm gonna go here mm -hmm. to promote him here. All right. And I'm gonna go here. I'll take a whip. Okay. And I'm gonna make another ring. Oh, look at you, stealing all the rings. I'm the Lord of the Rings. Yes, I'll go here. <laughs> I'll take two whips. Yeah, and pay gold to make a ring. Okay. All right. That's You're out it. of moves. I, I'm, I've got I'm one left. left. Yep. So I... I'm going to go here mm -hmm. and put my guy in front. Ah, so you're going to be first. Yep. And what this requires is you to put every last remaining action marker down. Yeah. So. That was my last one. So. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So, because I, I want to go first during this reward phase. It's oh, not, that starts now. Yes. Okay. It's not going to be for the beginning of next round because it'll mm -hmm. reset. You, when you want that, you have right. to take the top oh, action right. and you pay right. a honey right. for every spot you want to jump. I see you went there. Okay. So I went to the bottom one to do the big Got action you. now. <laughs> yes. So okay. now we offer. What do we have? Okay. Bread again. Yes. <laughs> Good thing you have bread. I've got so much bread. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Okay. But it doesn't mean I'm going to offer any of it. Mmm. Ooh. What are you going to do? Okay. Uh, let's take these back. Okay. Because it confuses me. Hmm. What are you going to give up here? Well, hmm, I'm going to do this, and yikes. Do you already have your piles? I do, I'm ready. Are you kidding me? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I know exactly what I need to do. What you need to do? Yes. Ooh. I know what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I wonder how bad... I wonder how bad you need that. I need what? I'm just looking at where you're at on that thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need it that bad. Oh, yeah? Holy moly. Okay. Ready? I guess. I'm not ready. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Set. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh, God. Okay. All right. That actually worked out okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So wow, I'm first. you're like, I just don't want to get all my fixies out. That's really? it. Okay. I threw five bread down. So okay. I'm going to go one. Yep. Figured. Two, three, Four, five. Okay. Cool. And, and I have it. three. Yep. So I'm going to go. This one's chained. Um, hmm. Probably. Maybe one, two. And. 
three somewhere. I'm going to go here. Three. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I go up two on the silver. You go two on the gold. Yep. All right. Okay. There's a piece of silver. All right. So you get to move, promote one more of yours and the gray guy. Actually, no, I'm the queen's favorite right now, so I get to so do you that. Get to move the but you still get to promote your own dude. Yeah. Did you. Do I get to go first doing that? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do yours, and then I'll do mine. Um, I don't even really want to promote anybody else. This guy's like tied down. Just cost Wait you a piece minute. of bread. Your guy's all tied down too. I know. That's why he's still oh, in the he's, mine. He's three to that one guy. I yeah. See. Okay. I mean, you can get rid of him at any time. It just cost bread. Yeah, I know. The queen shouldn't want any more bread at this point, right? I guess you feed him bread to break the rocks. Or you give it to her to say, please let him go. Mm-hmm. I can't really, I can't really promote anybody. Why not? To any spaces that I want. <laughs> this is not about what you want. I know. I guess I'll go like. Why wouldn't you want to move him up here? Because you like that action, I guess, right? Well, yeah. yeah I'm what? thinking. I'm thinking more about like what's what actions do I want to take as opposed to okay, look, what resources here. I'm going to get. There you get. go. What's it doesn't there? really matter. It's not like I'm going to use that anyway. So yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. All right. So that is reward. Now it's penalties. Okay. We each get one. Boom, boom. Okay. Because we only have one in there, mm -hmm. I have to demote somebody. Yep. So I'll just demote this clown okay. right there. And, and then I get one more. Why? Oh, because you're Because I'm there. Yep. But I get points. You get two points now. So you get the two. There you go. Okay. And that is it. All right. Ooh. Okay. It's getting close. Let's do some stealing. Okay. All right. So I get a silver. And actually, no, he goes, yeah, he goes to the top yeah, now. He goes, Let's get him off the board. Points. He's gone. There you go. All right, thank you. And you get an apple, one of each. And then, actually, you get two apples. Two apples and everything else. Think about what else you want. Okay. I'm grab my stuff. So I get two apples. And then he gets an apple and a bread. So this I will. Not good. No, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'll take um, two bread. You know what? Give me one, two, three, four bread. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. That's what I would. Actually, do just give me three bread. Okay. Uh, no, give me one bread. <laughs> Sorry, just give me one bread. Just one. I'm gonna get rid of these stones. Okay. I'm gonna pay three go. bread to get rid of them and just be done with that. Okay. And these just go off. All right, so that's it. You got your pay? Um, no, I have to take three resources of any type, and I don't know what I want. <laughs> it's, like, ridiculous. Queen's not going to be happy. You're hoarding all this She's food. She's not going to be happy with me at all. I get three of anything. Let's yep. go with these. One. Two. Three. Three apples. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, all right, so now these guys actually go back to the way they were, because mm -hmm. it's only temporary. Yep. And you start us off with the actions. Okay. Oh, right. Um. Why do you have two gold up there? Oh, yeah, there's a problem. <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, steal <laughs> Slowly put them behind <laughs> your screen. Um. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I. Okay. I'm going to go here first because I'm going to lock that down. Oh, really? You mm -hmm. don't want me to copy that? Nope. Oh, I can't copy you it, can't by the way. <laughs> but oh, I don't so want you, you to. You want to go first. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Whew. 
So that was a very defensive move. It's extremely defensive. I'm going to have to be equally defensive You're then. You're very offensive. All right, well, then I'm going to demote him okay. <laughs> down to here, <laughs> and that'll cost me an apple. Oh, somehow I feel like that was less about demoting me and more about getting rid of your apples. Exactly. <laughs> you see where <laughs> my mind is. Oh, that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So funny. All right. Yes, yeah, so we get penalized for these resources at the end, so you do not want to yeah. hoard stacks. Yeah, you definitely don't. You're mad stacks. Mad stacks. It's bad. All right. Hmm. I hadn't really thought about this all the way through. <laughs> Darn it. Um... I'm going to go here. Mm-hmm. Oh, take some silver. grab two silver. All right. Which is expensive to do right now, but that's fine. Very. I'm going to do a um, special offer. Oh, okay. And I'm going to pay two bread, mm -hmm. silver. And two, an extra honey. An extra honey. So you can throw that okay. honey up top. And I'll take the second tile. Okay. That's a surefire way to get rid of resources. Exactly. Yeah. I was kind of hoping you would do that. You were hoping I would do that? Yeah, because uh, then I, I pay oh, more resources. It's getting better for you now? Yes. <laughs> Great. Well, fortunately, you can't copy that action. I know. Not this time. Um, well, no, you can't at all. Because you only copy two cost actions. No, I mean, like, I could, I'm could. i saying I can't take that action this uh, round, is all I'm trying to say. You know. Take that. Take that. <laughs> take take that. that, then. Um... And I think I will go, jeez, my last action, this is not good. I'm going to go here hmm. and turn one silver into one gold. Okay. What does my ring cost to make a ring? Uh, one gold. Is it now? Mm -hmm. I know right. you want to. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to copy you. Why? Here. Oh, okay. And convert this ah, to see. gold. Okay, so take your whip. Okay. And then I'm going to go and make a ring. Okay. And pay a gold. Okay. And make a ring. Up there. All right. I'm done. Okay. Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's see what she wants. Okay. Apples. Apples. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting offer round. This is going to be really weird, I, th I think. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Um. Yeah, I'm all set. You're all set? Actually, I have a question. Okay. And your question is? I'll just save it. I'll save my question for afterwards. I just had a specific question. A specific <laughs> set of questions. Okay. okay. okay Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I think I'm, s I think I'm ready. All right. I hope this is legal because this is really weird. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I talk too much. This there we go. I, this is why I can't play poker. Okay. You ready? Okay, go. go. Wow. You did the same thing. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> this is, I'm assuming your question was. My, yeah. It, it gets a little wonky in two players. So let's, let's just talk about that for a second. Right? Yeah. So, uh, well, because here's the thing. In two players, you're making two separate offers. In a normal, here's the more thing, than though. two player game, you're only offering one thing. Yes. So... Do you have that many pictures you can promote? No. Well, then that might be a problem. 
because Why? I think you have to limit it to the number of pixies I can. Promote. Yes, if you can't promote a pixie, you can't take the action. That's Doesn't typically she the want rule. So many apples. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think we're cool. You you can promote up to the number of food you offer. It doesn't say you have to, yeah. right? It gets like I said, it gets a little it gets wonky with two. Too. Well, which we'll talk about. But but, so. um, <laughs> but that's okay. So you get to promote up to like ten. Yeah, that's like a whole bunch. Yeah. Okay, so my first promotion is going to be here, obviously. Right. Take these off the board. Too, All right, so yeah, we know yeah. what our free spaces are. All right. Because that's another thing to consider that you you might run into is that it has to be a free space that you're promoting to. So if like all these are blocked, yes. it's your turn to promote, you're kind of screwed. So. Well, it would cost you an apple. Yeah, you because you can like demote you them. You can demote them out, yeah. All right, so I'm, and then I'll just promote this guy. Oh, I can't. Oh, he's chained. Do you have any bread? I do. All right, then pay a okay. piece of bread. That was close. One. And then you unstone him. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So that was what? Was it? Six? Yeah. You have four more. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Um. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know if I want all that That's stuff. That's a lot of food. I really don't know that I want all that stuff. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm like, good. Because this is going to be like our last, this is our last round. Mm hmm I'm just going to leave him there. Okay. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not needing like all that extra stuff. So you're done. So I'm done. Okay. So then I get to promote up to four. So I'll go one and I'll go two and I'll demote him. But it'll cost me an apple. <laughs> Happily uh, throw that apple <laughs> out. And that's it. Okay. I'm and gonna leave him there. Neither of us there. go up here. Neither of us go up that track. She's we happy. Gave apples. She's very happy because we gave her so many apples. Right. Uh, can you hand me my little action thing back, yes. please? Now you get to promote one more. For free. For free. Why don't you go ahead and do that? <laughs> Get that guy back on the board. Yeah, I'm going to put him... And then move here. the gray guys up as well. Yeah, like... To here. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Now we'll do penalties. You don't get any. You actually earn two, yep, two points. victory points for that, and I actually earn just one whip because we right. have nothing in the mines. Yep. So that's okay. good, actually. Yeah, that is great. Quite good. Okay. All right. All right, let's jump into the last round. Um... And earn our food from stealing. <laughs> this is like, yeah. I don't want well, why don't you go ahead and take your board resources? Uh, well, actually, okay. move him off yeah, and take so. your victory points there. Whoops. Ooh. Sorry, he's like so a flutter. So happy to be part of her loyal yeah, servants. I guess. Ugh, two apples. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, All this right. isn't good. And you get another honey for this guy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for yep. And I'm going to get uh, apple, honey, and two bread. Apple, honey, two bread. All right. Another apple and another bread. Hold on. Apple, honey, two bread. Another apple. Another bread. Another bread. And another apple. Another apple. And a silver. And a silver. And, and you get three and I get three. So pick You your get four. I get four. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. This is bad. Yeah. Um, I'll take two apples and a bread, I guess. Ugh, it really doesn't. Yeah, I'll take the honey and stuff. Okay, what do you want? Uh, give me three bread and honey, please. Okay. All right. Yuck. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Are we ready? I think so. Okay, let's start the last round. Wow. Things become so contentious hmm. at this point. Uh... Yeah. Darn it. There's like two moves that I want to take 
right now. <laughs> Can't do them both. <laughs> Are they the same moves that you want to do? Probably. Um, Which is the lesser of the two evils. Yeah. I want to roll the whip die. Is that what you want to do? What? <laughs> do you really? Yeah. <laughs> you are so bad. <laughs> I didn't want to all game until now. Until just now. Until just now. Yeah. Roll the whip die. Make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I should. It really isn't that bad of a take that move, to be quite honest. What's a couple whips, right? Well, depending where you are, I guess. Right? Yeah, like I, I, it could be enough to push you I know. into the demotion, which would be really good. Very good for you. Mm -hmm. So I think the problem with us and take that is that once we start, it's just vicious. Yeah, then like it's just it gets, looking it just for it. It just gets nasty, which I guess is that's what that's. That's what it's about, about, right? Yeah, about. as long as you can laugh it off at the end. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. go here. That means you'll let yes. me do the other one. I'll let you do the other one. Yep. Okay. And we all know what that means. But they're both worth about the same amount of points. Yeah, exactly. So. It's just like, I mean, this is the last round, so it's not like anybody's going to get to the seven. Yep. So let me get all my stuff out. And we'll do, like, um, like another bread, I guess. Not it. Ooh, actually... <laughs> <laughs> I like that your thought process is probably exactly the same as mine. Here. And I can't I can't talk to the camera about anything that I'm thinking. Can't give away all your, your away evil all my, secrets. All my evil secrets. Alright, so right. you're done being vicious? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go Oh, I can't do that. Why? Because you have to put all your chips down. <gasps> oh that sucks. Yeah, that's bad. Well, that's, maybe eventually. That's very bad. Eek. Ooh, ow. All right, well, there goes that. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Trust um, and balance of the game. Yeah. Right? Well, I guess. We'll see at the end yeah. how this turns out. I guess maybe I should roll that whip die now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that was bad. Do what you have to. Uh, I'm going to go here. That's what I'm going to have to do. And I'm going to dump three resources. You could yeah. dump three of any kind, really. Yeah. It's like the only time that that really comes in handy. Yeah, I'll give it to three honeys. Okay, three honeys. <laughs> three honeys. Three honeys. <laughs> I don't need three honeys. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. And I will go... Mm -hmm. I'll go here and make a ring. For one gold. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably then. Well, I'll convert this to gold. Okay. Thank I always you. forget to convert for you. <laughs> I'm just so like, I thank keep you. That's great. Um, I will go... I guess I'll go here. And dump three honeys as well. Okay. And I'll put the last two I have here. Yeah, I figured you would. And I have one more action. Bring the action. I can't bring the action. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here and just take two silver. Alrighty. Okay. That's it. That's all. So. You ready? Yeah, what does she want? Okay. Apples. Oh, excellent. Cool. Hmm. Okay. You ready? Okay. What are you offering? All your apples? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. 
Um, so promotions I get to are promote, first. So you're first. I'll go one. Yep. Two, three. Okay, and I have two promotions. Mm-hmm. Um. I guess I'll just go one, two. Right. Okay, and then I go up two notches on the gold track. One, two. Right. And I gave it two silver, mm -hmm. so I get two points. Okay. Well, I just took them, like, prematurely. Yeah, uh, yeah, Sorry. I don't think... Well, put them back, yeah. So I don't okay. think pressing up to the top of the track gets you anything. Yeah. Because those... I'm penalties thinking, and rewards are I was only just during of, like my reward. Right, they're only for the penalty phase. I just want right. my points. You just want them now. <laughs> so oh, here's my three right. apples. They're gone. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're not promoting. You've done that. We did our promotions. We did our promotions. We did our rewards. Oh. Okay, I'm so rewards. Here, move your pixie up. Take your thing. Oh yeah. So let me get that. Another loyal servant to the queen. All right. And now we are ready. Yes. Okay, but we got to do the uh, penalty phase. We didn't do that yet. Okay. So penalties. Uh, um, okay. No penalties, but you I get two. Get you, two now you get your two. <laughs> I get one. Yes. One. And nothing in the mind, so we're good. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We've just triggered end game because yep. we've completed all seven rounds. So what do we do at end game? We basically um, are... Penalty points are where they are, but we are actually going to... Try to get rid of some of those. Yeah, so we're going to yeah. take our reward tiles with the golden numbers, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the silver numbers, because we actually took those too. Yep. Uh, another end game condition would have been, had we taken that seven and eight over on the offering? Yeah. That would, would have ended, ended the it. game if it wasn't the seventh round yet, but since it's the seventh. So we're going to take all of our tiles. We can actually remove our screens now yeah. because it's over. All right, so we have resources left yep and we've got points mm -hmm. so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um count up our reward points and move our scores up accordingly right so why don't you go ahead and start counting them up and i'll start bringing you back up the track okay so what do you have i'm just trying to group them a little bit <laughs> okay um, Let's start reading them off one at a time, and I'll just start moving you. All right, so I have 10. All right, so 10 will bring you to 17. All right. Another 10. Bring you to 7. Another 10. We'll bring you to positive 3. Uh, 12. We'll bring you to 15. 11. Oh, well, that's going to cap you at 20. Oh, and then 5. Wow. I don't think we have enough room on the score track. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see and if I is, even make it yeah, to it the 20. Yeah, it is finite, so. Right, so I've got 20. It is finite, right? So mm -hmm. you've capped it out. So yeah. 20 will bring me to 13. Uh, 7, oh, here's another 10. Bring me to 3. Here's another 10. Bring me to 7. And here's 15. So 10, yeah, so I capped it too. Okay. But we're not done yet yeah. because we're going to get penalties now. So we're capped at 20. Mm -hmm. So now we look at our resources and whoever is leading in a category of any specific type of resource is going to lose uh, three points. Lose three points. So we each lose three for the pumpkins. Because we're, we're tied. Yep. The honey, the the, honey pumpkins. The honey pumpkins. So we're going to go both to 17. But I'm going to lose an additional three for the bread. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. So you Done. got me by three points because of the bread. Yeah. Tight game. Womp womp. I know. All okay. right, cool. Let's go talk about it. <sighs> All right, there you have it. The pixie queen. Do you feel like a pixie queen? No, I feel like a pixie that was serving a pixie queen. Okay. Do you feel like a pixie queen? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. All right. Um, so, wow. Okay, well... I guess we can just, we can get right into this. Let's get right to it. Right? Yeah. Because well. um, there's a lot to talk about here, uh, but let's talk about this from a replayability standpoint. First. All right. So jumping right into replayability. Yeah. My goodness. All right. Uh, I would say that there is certainly some randomness to the setup. Right? There is. Yep. Because uh, you have to put out 
only certain uh, offer tiles. Yeah, we only had six seven. offer tiles. Uh, seven offer tiles. So yeah, seven of the, the queen's yeah. offering, right? Whatever she wanted for that round. You had those seven right. desks. And then like your six uh, permanent abilities, permanent abilities yep. and stuff, which really do change things They do. Up they quite a bit. certainly change things. Um, but there were more that we left in the box, right. obviously, because you, you random draw those for the setup. Yeah. So that's definitely going to change things up. And I think. Um, I think just by the, the sheer nature of this game, right? Right. And we'll take a step back here because I think when you, by calling this a, a straight action taking worker placement type game, mm -hmm. I think you're kind of doing the game a disservice because that's not right. really where I think this particular engine shines, right? Mm -hmm. And where it shines, where it gets sort of its legs, is in the player interaction. I was just about to right. say... I think that player, the, the folks that you're playing with are going to add to your experience and make for a replayable experience every time. Correct. So like, depending on who you're playing with, you're going to get a different game. Yes, it will, yeah. it will completely change the, your flow and your strategy um, based on how, uh, how aggressive and how interactive you and your, right. your companions are playing. Yes. Right? So I think that's going to change it up. So I would say that because of that, um, it doesn't really need a ton of different components on the board or different right, yeah. actions to take because, like we said, you know, you're blocking actions, you're taking actions, you're doing things to other players, you're mm -hmm. getting in their way, you're trying to foil their plans to get yourself one exactly. up. There's a whole like yeah. hidden, um, sort of like hidden hidden bi uh, bidding mechanism right. in there. So like, there's a lot of that. This is definitely a worker placement game that's kind of built around sort of a an interactive game that's that sort of right. take that theme so it's kind of weird because it has it like mixes a couple different genres here right um in in a way that you're not playing a euro -y type game as a single player experience with other people yeah and i was just about to say i think from when we think about replayability obviously we're thinking about what kind of experience you're going to get every time and is mm -hmm. it going to be any different and this isn't a game i don't think that you can really like train for no, if no, you know what, no. If, if that makes any sense, yeah. Um, where you can you can practice different engines and things of that nature, but it's not like your standard Euro where you can build an engine. You know how to build that engine, and every time you crack the game out, you can crush everybody because your engine's awesome. Right. Um, this is definitely going to be dependent on what your opponents are throwing at you, mm -hmm. and we didn't do a lot of that. No. Um, but but it's definitely there, and and can add to that experience. Right. I think we'll get into that a yeah. little bit more yep. so, soon too. So that's replayability. Yeah, very good. Um, what about weight and audience? So who's this for? Um, weight wise, I mean, I, I kind of feel like sort of like midweight maybe. Yeah, it's, it's about me. It's yeah, not, it's definitely not a yeah, heavy euro. Not difficult to understand or anything no, like that. No, not at all. No. And I think the round structure is very quick. Yeah. Uh, the game moves very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, and the, the there's a ton of actions to take on the board. Mm -hmm. It almost looks overwhelming, but I think once you really just boil it down to what each move right. is, they're they're very simple. It's like go here, take two silver. Yeah. Like, that's not really an action you have to think about. Right. It's like all right, I need some silver. Let me go take silver, or maybe I'll just mine. Right. And I'll mine there. Um, there's some more complex actions. There's a lot of you know of those specific take that actions, mm -hmm. but they're not punishing either. And no. I don't think you know there's some fun actions like the, well we didn't do them like the uh, the casino die. And this, oh yeah, I don't know. So yeah, we didn't. It's, we should have, but I, I just don't think the payoff is as big for the cost. Yeah. And because we've used it before, and it like it, it is good in certain circumstances, but like we right. just talked about, every time you're playing this game, you're getting a different experience. Yeah, and I, I think so. maybe that changes with more players mm -hmm. and and less actions being available on the board. Yeah. Right. So you're almost forced so to take too. some of these other actions that you wouldn't normally do. Yeah, because the pixies came out. The like our you know our kind of AI pixie mm -hmm. came out blocked stuff off a little bit or, or made stuff really kind of it's sort of like opposite of what you would think yeah. though like usually when you're blocking actions off from an ai standpoint those are unavailable to you and in this right. case we kind of brought them out onto spaces where we wanted to go to those locations mm -hmm. because we wanted them to be cheaper because it's cheaper visit. yeah so yeah. it's interesting how that you know how that kind of like plays into the whole thing uh, in a very different way than it would if you were playing with more than just two people correct so, i agree um, so as far as audience, I would I would say this is definitely a gamer's game, but more importantly, 
you know, if you have a group that does like to kind of rake at each other mm -hmm. during a game and like, I mean, this is a scramble to the top. Yeah, yeah. The entire time. Exactly. So, um, you know, if you got, if you have a lot of fun with that kind of thing, which a lot of game groups do, then I think that that would be kind of the target audience. Yeah, basically. definitely. If, if you're looking for a Euro or a worker placement mm -hmm. game and resource generation yeah. game, where, like I said, it's a it's a solitaire group experience where everybody right. kind of builds their engine. You don't really mess with each other. You kind of maybe you block an action here and there, but it's not really uh -huh. that big a deal. But this game forces interaction, forces conflict, mm -hmm. but not evil conflict. It's like, yeah, right, I'm going to give you a couple whips, but that's not going right. to, unless that puts you in the little green cell at the end, right. like that would be pretty rough. <laughs> but I think for the most part, a lot of that stuff can be tolerated. And, and, not, and not break your game. Yeah, and, yeah. and mitigate it. And you can give it right back. So it's right. not like you're you're there a victim the whole game. Right. Um, what we didn't do was a lot of that. Right. Take that. And that's why I think our scores went off the board mm -hmm. because we weren't stopping each other from building these engines right. because that's not how we play. So for yeah. from our perspective, uh -huh. right, that's we kind of prefer the solo yeah. engine building game right. over the in your face sort of take that right because that's what happens and, when we play these types of games we, yeah. don't, we don't attack each other right and, and we're missing out on a good part of the game i think i know and i want to I, I want to speak to that right. in a little while okay that's okay fine. so um let's let's get through um theme components mm -hmm. that sort of thing yeah this is an easy one the art is beautiful beautiful Loved it. The board is beautiful. The RSP of the components are yeah. nice. There's nothing bad I can say about that. Yeah, no, uh, everything's uh, everything's yeah. absolutely. The theme is fantastic. awesome. Like it's just yeah, really it's unique, really, cool. really unique, really pretty. Looks great uh -huh. on the table. The the little meeples right. are nice. Like everything is done and well. And I hope you guys got got it got to see the um, like our barricades. Like when we turned them at the end, you know, you, so yeah. you could actually see our. Like our Your little player shields, yeah. Our player shields like are they're gorgeous to look at. Yeah, the like, art's really beautiful. Cool, so. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, I really, I really did appreciate that. Um, what would you would what would you say this compares to? <clears throat> have you played anything? No, we've been kind playing of a lot of unique games lately, and we I think we really have. And I, I think yeah, that, go that's quite good. I yeah. mean, because you know, like when you play euros, you're typically able to simply compare them to another euro exactly right? and right. we don't well, the thing is, I, think, about wood. I think what we struggle with here is that since we don't play a lot of games where there's this type of yeah interaction like this sort of you know take that interaction it's uh -huh. really what it boils down to right uh, we don't have a lot of experience in that realm of games so i'm right. sure there's something out there that this equates that to. this equates to but from what we've experienced or at least from what i've experienced right. no this is I mean, it feels like any other worker placement on the surface, but yeah. beneath that, and I think the whole construct of the game is almost inverted because is, yeah. you're trying not to score points early so that you yeah. can score points later because everybody's automatically being punished every round, right. which is not something that... Well, and you're trying to... The cool thing about... The cool thing that I think we took away was like when you're... You, just from an engine building standpoint, mm -hmm. we, you're building your engine, building your engine, building your engine, and in a typical Euro, you get to the end of the game and you feel like you have finally have this awesome engine yep. and the game ends. And you see where it ends, yeah. This it doesn't take it that far. So we go engine, build the engine, build the engine, and then all of a sudden we have to flip our engine, turn it around, mm -hmm. because you don't want all those resources, right. you don't want all that production. You know. Yeah, by by no later than round five, you're jamming exactly. on the brakes, and you're right. like, "How do I stop bringing in four or five apples and honey when I needed and all this bread?" Stuff, like for the last couple rounds, you don't want it anymore. Yeah. So yeah, that's tough. It's 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 really yeah a different way to look at it. Yeah, and I don't think I've played anything like that. No, not and in... that was for me <clears throat> one of the most unique pieces of this game. I agree. So um, very very cool, very different. Yeah. Okay, great. So um, w let's let's talk about full fun factors. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's a fun game. It is really even fun. though we, like I said, we don't like to yeah. attack each other, and we didn't. But even so, it's fun. I, I think um, had we been the type of gamers who enjoyed, you know, kind of needling each other here right. and there, uh, we would have even more fun with this because right. this game was built to needle each other. 
Exactly. And to, to, to basically just screw each other, really. You know, you're screwing each other out of... Right. But just like a little bit at a time. It's like I do feel like you're climbing like a, some kind of a mountain or something. You're yeah. just kind of like pulling people back so but that you can cool. get ahead, you know? Yeah, but it's think, funny. It is, it is kind of funny. Right? And I think if we played uh, in a bigger group mm -hmm. with some of our friends... Oh, who we do. do we enjoy, certainly have... Yeah. We have some yeah. take that friends. Yeah. That this would be fun because yeah. we'd a lot more fun than we had because I think we would have been able to uh -huh. really capitalize on some of those, right. those jabs, you know? Yeah. Um, and let's talk about expectations. Did you even hmm. know what to expect? I had no me? idea what to expect here. Um... Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't. Uh, I, and I think, I think on the surface, I, I initially thought this was just a straight up action taking worker mm -hmm. placement euro. Um, but I was actually happy to see that there was more to it. Right. Uh, and then after reading the rules, I'm like, wow, this is, this is really different because now I've got to really manage yeah. how big I build my engine uh -huh. because I don't want to build it too big. Right. right. So, and there's so many actions to take. Uh huh. That it was like almost like I said, it was almost overwhelming at the beginning because I'm like I don't even know what I want to do because there's so many choices right. here. Um, and even though you only get two actions later on, as you start to get the fairies out mm -hmm. or the pixies out, you actually start to be able to take almost four actions, right? Because they only cost one action token yeah. each, right? So you're able to do a lot more stuff. So, but then like you're mining, you're not doing as much mining. You're not doing as much mining. That's a like, trade off, right? It is a kind of a trade off but one that's beneficial depending on where you're at in your game with your engine. That's which right. Which is really unique. Very unique. Very cool. Yep. Um, all right. Pros and cons. Okay. Let's start with pros. Pros and cons. Pros. Beautiful art. Very much so. Yeah, I really enjoyed right. the art. Um, and I enjoyed them. I enjoyed the mechanics. I mean, mm. I, I enjoyed them like for what it was and stuff. Like I said, I really liked the idea of building this resource engine and then having to kind of turn it around and come up with almost an engine to exhaust resources at right, the end. Right. That was really challenging and really cool. Yep. Um, and I liked, I liked the scoring. Um, going back to expectations, I think that um, I expected, I guess just from my first read through kind of the concept of the game, I expected it to be more of like a, you know, you don't want to have the most points, but you still want to have more than like other people, Correct. kind of. Yeah. But that's not exactly how it works. You're actually, you're actually really just starting at zero and losing points the whole time, yeah. and then gaining them all back. Yeah, so to get back. you know, don't think about <clears throat> it like it's you're just trying to get the least amount of points because that's not the case. No, nope. it's just that you're, <laughs> yeah, you're sinking yourself into you're a hole to, and then you're trying to get yourself. Yeah, back mitigate up. how so, many whips you're getting, right? So that you can stockpile enough yeah. victory points to get you back above. Exactly. Because at the end, it's a mad yeah. race to get to the top. Right. So. Um, so I think and, that's cool. That's definitely right. a pro. It was really neat. Um, and, and again, I like that the take that that's in the game can be mitigated, and I think that that's a really important part of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess we can let's go to kind of like cons. Yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't. I want to speak to that. A I think bit. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't label the take that as a con. I wouldn't. No, I don't think so because I think it's a it's a it's a it's necessary a, part of this game. It's integral. That I think. Yeah. yeah. And I think anybody who gets this game mm -hmm. and likes and is looking forward to that interaction, right. like that's a really big pro, yeah. right off right. the bat. I mean, for us, I wouldn't consider it a pro because that's not how we game. But right. I can see the allure of it. Yeah, I would say um, I, I when we got finished playing this the first time and then the second time and we like even after we filmed it, I feel like I didn't appreciate it as much as somebody who really enjoys yeah. this interaction because I don't like a ton of player interaction in my games. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I still definitely respect the game itself for what it yeah. is. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yep. Um, we were playing through it. We basically played it as. A resource generation yeah, game. Yeah, we played it like a Euro. And I feel like I played half the game. Yep. Like, I don't feel like we really ever get to that point. At least not with two. And like no. we said, we definitely have friends that we'd love to get this to, we will be getting this to the table right. with. Um, you know, who I think, you know, congesting the board a little more and really forcing that interaction. With two players, I think that the interaction isn't forced enough. I think, I think that, a lot of games suffer that. I think so too. Um, and, you know, given. It's one thing if you're given the choice to attack each other, mm -hmm. and it's another thing if it's if it's kind of a forced part of the game, and right. then you're, you're then therefore forced to kind of mitigate and things like that. Um, like, for example, it, you know, when, uh, when we draw from the bag and we pull the stones, right? That's not even a direct take that. 
in this game. No, but it's it, that not. was the only thing I really felt like, um, like bled through a little bit to the to the two player variant mm -hmm. that was a little like attacky. Yeah, kind of. Because you, you had to give the other opponent the stones, but it doesn't do anything. Really. No, you well, and the thing is, it. it makes you think about okay, how am I going to mitigate this and stuff. Yeah. Um, but because it was with two of us, it was really our choice to like knock the other person down when there's three other spots we can go to. Yeah. You know, it was kind of, it was a little too open mm -hmm. for us to like jump in and just like rip each other apart. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So was this your con? This was my con and it was only, it, it's not even really a con about the game. It's just a con about like okay. my playing style. So, well, let's, <laughs> let's kind of put that in into more context right as okay. far as cons go because yeah. i think that hits a good point where in the two-player game mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to fight so i think it's a little loose the board's yeah. a little yeah, loose yeah, yeah. maybe maybe you should put out two pixies right to block it up but that's still they're not really blocking they're making but, the move cheaper see, so that's, that's where thing. it kind of it's like it's i said tough. before it's it's almost like it, it's almost like you need to put out markers yeah. to block the entire to block action. off specific actions. So that forces you to go to the copy action, or right. it, you know, forces it to be a little tighter. Yeah, it forces me to actually demote you so I can take your spot because right. there's exactly. no other place for me to go. Where... Remembering that this is this whole game is backwards. Yep. You know, so normally you're blocking actions, but this is actually just. And, and I think I think in the two-player game. Because you're each getting two offers, you're swimming yeah, in resources, swimming in promotions. Yeah. Um, like I said, because you're able to give yeah. two promotions, so you rip up that gold and, and, yeah. and silver track very quickly. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it mitigates all of the whips you're pretty much taking. Well, and also, I mean, if you think about your, you know, your three plus player game. Yeah. You have that tile that actually allows you, or the action space actually that allows you to make an extra offer which is a bonus if you're only ever allowed to make one offer mm -hmm. because when you're making that one offer you really have to think about okay i really want to move up the gold track but i have to like hope that somebody else is going to give the queen what she wants right you know if you know if i were playing this as a four player game i pl i always play so safe that i'd probably always just give the yes. whatever the queen wants like i'll give it to and her you know you would, and i would never move up that track you, you would know? suffer and you'd get you'd take the full whips or every round. i would end up you know, I, where I would end up, you know, going to that action space. But because we are allowed in a two-player game, you're required to make two separate offers, but you're thinking with the same brain mm -hmm. for the same player, you know, I think that we lost a little bit of that, Yeah. which is a really cool well, concept. Yeah, losing that, that tightness yeah, and having exactly. to make the conscious decision yeah. to go for promotions mm -hmm. or to go for the gold or silver. Right. And that's a huge decision in this game because if you both choose wrong mm -hmm. you don't get anything right so like i think it, it that, that, that kind of yeah, that, yeah i think that's missing from the two-player game yeah i think so, so too so um so yeah so i guess but that's, that's the con the, yeah that's I think, the con i think yep. it's just kind of the the two-player experience a little bit yeah but um yeah i'm very excited to get this back to the table with more people agreed um, but we do two-player stuff on this channel so you get our two-player you experience. get our two-player experience so there you go and if we if we had a chance to play three, it would have been great, but yeah. I think, uh, but we can see the potential there. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Absolutely. So it, it yeah. looks like it can be a real lot of fun yeah. with three or yeah. four. Yeah. Or five. Or five or six. No. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. That was Pixie Queen by Game Brewer. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to say thank you to the publisher for sending us this copy for review. And uh, we hope you enjoyed the playthrough and the review, and we will see you next time. See ya.